Capricorn, you are the first on the list uh, today or this week as um, you gave me or the video 270 likes. Thank you so much. That is really wow. I hope you like this reading just as much as last week's. The energy is positive though. You can see other readers and they, the cards are really positive at the moment because we are in more of a nurturing, loving, passionate nature. In some cases also sensual and sexy. So we're taking care of ourselves much more. Uh, our inner selves and our outer selves which is good. We have to love ourselves before we can love an other. We have to recognize ourselves that we are individuals and that we are part of the greater good and that we are beautiful as we are. Now this is your reading for the week of the Um, 6th of July till the 12th so I hope you enjoy this reading and if you're a cyber angel that means a true and faithful follower thank you for all those likes and if you are new or you haven't subscribed yet please feel free to subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified when I go live or when I upload new videos. Okay, so let's get started. This is the Querent card or the overall energy card in my reading. That's the way I work. It, there's no right way of reading um, cards. Everybody does it in their own way. It's I don't only use my cards but like you've experienced, your reading took off a, m a life of its own last week. I didn't know how to make the title or what to say in the title because there were so many messages. And it was one of the best videos last week. Okay, so this is the overall uh, card, theme card, meaning, uh, or the querent card. I'm just going to pretend that you are sitting in front of me and remember if you would like to have an extended reading the information is below the video and also in the top right hand corner there is a, a white circle with an eye in it and will take you to my website and there you can find all the readings available there will be a new reading available and that is a crystal ball reading and the crystal ball reading is not only the crystal ball reading but it's also uh, after I've done the crystal ball uh, reading I use cards to clarify um, what has been seen or said uh, with the energy of the crystal ball sorry about that darlings but we're going to start off now with the reading and the first card that you have is the knight of swords so there is news coming your way and this will be cyber news this could be through email text message or telephone or you could be meeting a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarius can Capricorn so there is news it could also be official news as the swords stand for wisdom clarity justice and also communication and like I said justice the judicial system it could be um, somebody phoning you or sending you an email that you have a tax return that you're getting money back because we do have money besides it okay but I'll come to that in a minute that's the overall energy for you Capricorn and the first one and that is on Monday the 6th you have the eight of wands again news and most probably more than one message things are moving rapidly um, 
you might even go uh, on a holiday or you might be traveling for work one or two options okay you might even combine it because like I said things are happening rapidly it won't rain it will just pour like last week there was so many things happening and this week it's continuing to do so so please 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 take time out um, take some rest otherwise you will spread yourself very thin okay you want to have uh, some energy to um, handle everything that's going to come towards you you might even get news on Wednesday um, bec about a promotion you have recognition as you have the three of Pentacles all your hard work is going to pay off you've got recognition now if you're seeking a job then you might get a promotion or you might just get this job now that you've been uh, applying for and this could be the news okay if you've been applying for more jobs there could be more messages so you might have to sit down and contemplate and evaluate what is good for you now unfortunately this is not the night of wands and in one of the live sessions I do remember a Capricorn asking me am I going to move in the next couple of months um, well you are going to travel whether it's moving I don't know but it, it's just come in I just remembered it and usually I don't remember things when I've done a reading so this could be significant for that Capricorn although I'm reading for thousands okay so <coughs> if you want to go on holiday then you will be going on holiday if you want to move then you might get the official news if you've applied for immigration or moving to another state or province okay there are certain things that you have to get done legally um, because we've also got the Queen of Swords here okay we've got the swords here so perhaps there is an itinerary I'm seeing a piece of paper um, again this reading is taking an, a, a life of its own so be careful when you are traveling be forewarned watch your itinerary make sure you've got your passport make sure you've got a, a visa if necessary okay and know the rules of the Kovic <coughs> in some cases when you come back there are three or four countries that when you come back you have to self isolate for a certain time make sure that you have all the knowledge beforehand okay now on Friday you have the seven of cups so there are dreams coming true um, but I would also m say make a list of pros and cons which dream do you want to come out first do you want a house do you want passion like the fire in the cup do you want money do you uh, uh, want uh, this is a mask so do you want to throw away a mask do you want somebody the truth to come out because we do have the swords here do you want an other pa pet what is your health like do you want to improve your health is there something that you are wishing do you want to lose weight make a pros and cons list and see what which dream or which wish or which goal can come true first this will motivate you to take the next step to the next one you have to take action um, in order to make your dreams or wishes come true you have to work for it you've got the recognition so perhaps this promotion is coming towards you okay perhaps you wanted a promotion or you wanted a specific job you will receive that news look at this man he's looking at all it's really very s difficult to see but he's holding a paper and that could be the examination paper or the certificate that could come through the post Wow anyway you've got the go-ahead you can travel now you've got the Queen of Swords and she's looking for information because she is knowledgeable 
she has her emotions under control she's not on ice cream but she knows how to be a businesswoman okay and she knows how to be a mum she also knows how to nurture but she also has is knows the letter of the law she knows what she has to do if she's traveling to go on holiday she knows that she has to make an itinerary so she's going to look at road maps this is the old-fashioned way of looking at road maps so if you have a, a, a smartphone then download Google Earth or Google Maps and that could help you instead of reading maps the old-fashioned way make an itinerary of what you need to take with you um, um, and where that you could make breaks and how long you uh, can stay away organize uh, a, a, a babysitter for your pets there you are or for your house a house sitter perhaps you might want a house sitter so get things organized but the queen of swords will cut straight through the BS and get the information for you that you need um, and this could be a Gemini or a Libra or an Aquarian but the Queen does represent Libra foremost so also with Libra I get the the scales I see the scales so get everything in balance before you go now funny that we have a mask here but in the first corner we have the mask here and whilst I was seeing this in this card I said perhaps you want to drop a mask perhaps this could be you perhaps you have been bored and you've been putting a brave face on it perhaps you might be worried about something and putting a brave face on it take that mask off and be true to yourself that will also release stress be yourself don't be scared to be yourself you've got recognition now you're stronger you're brighter you're much better than what you think yourself to be other people see you as a a, a strong determined person a person that seeks knowledge um, that's eager to learn and that you are a wonderful person and you uphold the truth and justice so take off that mask and don't be scared but be also aware of what people say and how people act they could be wearing a mask so somebody might not be upholding the truth with all these swords and perhaps you might be getting news about that that somebody is not as they seem it could be a, sh uh, a, f a wolf in sheep's clothing so be careful it could be an air sign but it could be an air sign that discovers this news this could be a professional person like a bookkeeper or a lawyer or a judge or uh, a social worker because they have the ability or the access to private information or secret information Wow and we have this for the second corner we have the anchor and if you have a question the question is yes you're coming home to a safe haven okay you feel safe where you're going to and you might put your anchor down there I'm not doing the numerology or the cartomancy that's this as the readings are quite extensive as they are okay so you feel safe with this queen okay with somebody that is an, a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarian you might even be dreaming on going on holiday with them together because they're your best friend you want to have fun you've got the seven so you are in luck okay you have the house and that means don't isolate yourself because the house gives you protection the house protects you makes you feel safe like the safe haven but you might be isolating yourself Capricorn don't come out and play 
don't be too serious. Come out and play and make new friends. Okay. You are being recognized. You are being seen for who and what you are because you most probably dropped that mask and you're honest. And you know who is wearing a mask. And you've learned perhaps the hard way uh, by uh, learning the hard way, I mean, uh, there might have been somebody in around you that w wore a mask, and they they did something, and they hurt you. They hurt you badly, and now you are hiding away, and you shouldn't be hiding away. You've been through this experience, and you're stronger than you think. Okay. You can feel safe so long you protect yourself, and uh, you can protect yourself with the white light. But you can also protect yourself by closing off your uh, solar plex and open it again when you feel safe. So you are always in control. Just remember, you just stand in your strength and don't wear a mask just be honest and open but don't let anybody abuse you or use you just walk away from other people's drama something has become clear to you definitely you know how to handle uh, people that wear masks or aren't real or honest you've been there you've done that everybody has a, I call it a rucksack when you travel sometimes you have to clear out the old and cut away and move on and that is ha that is what we call a uh, life experience you don't only get the knowledge from the book but you also get knowledge by experiencing life wow that's really brilliant and the last corner card, we've got the scythe. And talking about cutting away or throwing away what is of no use to you, here it is, the scythe is here. You are cutting away what is of no use to you. Yes, it is a 10, and I said I wouldn't use the numbers, but there is an ending. An ending to bad or negative energy, and there is a new beginning, okay? And you know you've got two number eights here, so you are in your power. <coughs> you know how to build proper foundations. You've got a number four as well. <coughs> Excuse me. And you've got a number nine. So there is an ending. But you are in your strength. This is an eight, and three and five is an eight. So be aware of that. Sorry, I had to go and get a glass of water. I've got a, a tickle in my throat. Now we're going, so be aware of your power and that you are in your power. You control what you want to do. You make the decisions. Don't let anybody boss you and push you around. Then your dreams can come true. Cut away what is of no use to you. This could be an earth sign. As this is the Jack of uh, Pentacles, the Jack of Diamonds. And you see how much information you can get with the cards. But also, again, this reading, extra messages from what I feel and see. And now you have the Coral Angel Feather. Show a friend you care today. Okay? phone somebody up it could be a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarian or an earth sign if it was a good earth sign it is you've also got the king of water here okay the angels understand the importance of friendship and ask that you make an effort today to remind a friend how loved they are Okay, and you have for the crystal card, you have num, num, might, num, might. 
and this card or this stone you can meditate with or wear it and it means achieving self mastery inner power recovering your sense of self so remember that means um, that you have grown and you are in your strength and in your control there's 38 so that is an 11 the angels are here for you and with you but just it, it can seem elusive that you are not in your strength or that you feel that you are not in your strength but it is okay you are in your strength this is a sign that you might be underestimating how far you have grown or come on your journey now the last card that I have for you is ask for help from others if you are moving home or if you're going on holiday and it's too much to get things ready and prepare because that's what usually what we do we uh, throw away the old food we uh, we organize house sitters or pet sitters we uh, strip the beds clean them wash them and put all the clean wash away before we go away on holiday before we travel so that we come back to a fresh new house and it's always great to be back once you've been away on holiday so believe in yourself this is the message for you Capricorn yes there will be an, uh, uh, a question answered with a yes will I travel will I get what I want yes 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 but you must take action in order for you to get your dreams come true you have all so experienced and learned how not to wear a mask and to um, see people for what they are and who is wearing a mask and who is sincere okay so if not then do some more research like the Queen of Swords get clarity okay the truth will always come out so come out of your shell and stop isolating yourself start making new friends and mingle with people I love you all and thank you very much for those beautiful likes please keep on continuing if you want to be the first one again next week until then I hope to see you in the life and I hope you have a blessed week and um, stay safe I love you all big hugs love cyber mom ciao ciao Thank you for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it and remember have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and I'll see you in the life Monday Wednesday or Friday ciao ciao